By now, you should know that there is no crystal clear way of making money so fast. Unlike what the making money fast people will tell you, making money is actually a process and anything good takes time, all right? It is true that you could make good money from betting sites or gambling and even by winning lottery, but in most cases, that money will vanish just the way it came. That is to say, nothing good comes easily, all right? Anything that comes easily goes easily as well. That's a law of nature. Now, considering the fact that there are a lot of untapped business opportunities in Africa, there are certain businesses that if you actually invest your money in, you are sure to make fast money. That is fast relative to other businesses. In that light, the businesses I'll be talking to you about today are some of those businesses that are very, very much needed in Africa. And that I am very sure that if you invest your money in them, you are going to be making a lot of money in no time. My name is Elvin Jake. And Without further ado, let's go straight into the video. The first business sector that I would advise you invest your money in is the pesticide industry. So if you don't know, pesticides are actually used to control various pests and disease carriers. You know Africa is said to be a diverse continent and we've got literally everything. As much as we've got human beings, we've equally got a lot of pests in our forests. Remember, Africans now are going huge on agriculture and are farming vast pieces of land. So we can talk of farming in a large scale without talking of pesticides. I know by now some of you would be raising eyebrows and wondering why I would be promoting pesticides. But the bitter truth is we need pesticides in order to cultivate the amount of food we need. The African forest is so diverse and when we talk of pests, it has to do with a lot of things, alright? Aside from insects, even the weed in our farms is some sort of pest, alright? So we've got the weeds, we've got plant pathogens and many more. So we need to get rid of them and the only way to do that fast and efficiently is through pesticides. Now know that when we talk of pesticides, we've got four main types of pesticides and we need all of those in Africa. We need insecticides, herbicides, fungicides and rodenticides. Sites, all right, we need all of them because, like I said, we are going huge on agriculture in Africa and we are embarking on large scale production. Consequently, we need all of those to repair or kill the insects and other pests that are a nuisance to our farms. Whether we like it or not, pesticides is what I will call here a necessary evil. All right, it's just like the African men will say a woman is actually a necessary evil in their lives because they really can't do without a woman. So pesticides is our own necessary evil because we just can't do without them. The insecticides are used for the insects while the herbicides are also used for the herbs, all right? We need to kill the weed, the grass, all right? You know, in Africa, weed grows in competition with the crops planted. So we need to get rid of those weeds in order to enable our crops breathe and grow better. We also need the fungicides to make sure that we eliminate every disease that could attack the plants. Please don't get me wrong. Right? I am quite aware of the fact that pesticides could actually irritate the eyes and the skin and also affect the nervous system at times, but then there are solutions to that, right? But that's why before applying them, people would wear protective attires for that, all right? Put on some shades or hair mats, put on some gloves and also boots in order to protect the body. So the farmers need to be educated more and more on the safety measures to take while applying pesticides in their farms. So believe me or not, pesticides is some business that I would love you to ponder on and see how you can invest your money in that industry because the need is there. The demand is there. Aside from Egypt and South Africa, what are the other African countries doing? The need is huge, all right? We need more pesticides to be produced in the continent in order for the prices to be more affordable. That leads us to the next business idea I have for you here, which is payment solutions. Now, have you heard of PayPal? Sure. PayPal is a form of payment solution, all right? Now, with the payment solution business, you are simply coming up with a platform that is going to enable online customers to pay for their goods via your website and you get a commission of the transaction. Payment solutions are becoming more and more popular and Africans actually need those services. To be honest with you, I love PayPal so much, but here in Africa, we 
we've got some difficulties transacting with PayPal. So we wish we could actually get some payment solutions by an African for Africans. In India, for instance, you would have PayU and Razorpay, for instance, and it is doing quite great. But in Africa right now, I don't think of any payment solution that really facilitates things for us, all right? Whenever I think of payment solutions in Africa, all that comes to mind is either PayPal, Peony. So here in Africa, we would mostly manage Visa cards and MasterCards. But then we need an intermediary platform that is actually going to be facilitating things for us. So hey, if you've got some money or you've got the potential to invest in a payment solution platform, please do, for we need it as soon as possible in Africa. A lot of Africans are actually involving in businesses and even international businesses. A lot of Africans are buying online and a lot of them face difficulty doing their payments. If there is a platform that will facilitate things for Africans, I can assure you that a lot of Africans are going to be using that platform. Customers are going to be using your platform to do their payments and you're going to be charging a fee for your service. It is as simple as that. Just look at what Elon Musk is doing with his PayPal. That is one of the best, if not the best, worldwide. He barely charges a dollar for a transaction, all right? It isn't really up to a dollar, but with the amount of transactions per day, he makes millions and billions of dollars. Now, with the population increase in Africa and the constant increase in purchasing power of Africans, imagine how much you would make if you've got such a platform in Africa. Now, if you're interested in this business model, there are actually four main things you need to take seriously. And obviously, the first thing is your fee, your charging fee. Like I said, said you don't necessarily need to charge much all right paypal charges as little as a dollar like i said it isn't up to a dollar all right because here from cameroon for instance i am generally charged 500 francs per transaction so which is not up to a dollar but paypal still makes a lot of money from the numerous transactions they get per day now the second thing you should also pay attention to is the transaction processing with such a business the faster the processing the better people don't have time to waste right people want everything to be easy for them so if you have such a platform your mission is to make sure that you facilitate things for your clients let them do their payments effortlessly and as fast as possible now another thing is to make sure that your platform is supported by an e-commerce site because people are obviously going to be using you to do their payments all right so you should make sure that it is well supported and well backed last but not the least take good care of the customer experience of your business make sure to provide your clients with a very good customer experience for that is what is going to keep them using your platform thereby determine the success of your business because if people are satisfied you are going to be losing clients and therefore losing popularity make sure your customer satisfaction is your priority don't you think that maybe because you are the first or the only one having a payment solution available for your community that you could maybe relax and neglect your customers service that makes me think of the first money transfer agency we ever had in Cameroon years back I think I was in the secondary school by then honestly I still remember how they used to make make life a living hell for Cameroonians. The fact that they were the only ones existing by them made them neglect their customer service and they would treat their clients with little or no respect. They would frustrate clients and at times people had to abandon their money there just because of the frustration they faced. When mobile money saw the daylight about let's say 10 years now in Cameroon that mobile money has been actually effective, as soon as people knew that they could actually send and receive their money through other platforms, people abandoned them with immediate effect. Right now, as I'm talking to you, they are literally begging people to transact with them and people are now making fun of them everywhere. So the secret to succeeding in a payment solution business is to first of all, make your clients feel secure using your platform. Now, also make sure that they have a fast and easy checkout process. If all of these are met, your business is sure going to be a success. Now go get us. Before we proceed, do well to like this video already if you haven't and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't. For on this channel, we've covered basically everything you need to know on businesses in Africa. And also I would advise you go to our playlist and scroll down for you are sure going to find something that is going to suit you. And if you really love and appreciate what we do on the channel, you can as well decide to go ahead and join 
our membership. The link is always pinned in our about page. Now, the next business I am going to be talking about here is the artificial plant business. This business is so loved nowadays and it is actually a game changer. We all know the benefits of a real plant, but then the artificial plant has actually changed everything for people. People love the artificial plant so much because they are suitable both for outdoor and indoor decorations. They are very easy to maintain the natural flowers, so you don't need any watering, any changing of soil, nor do you need to bother about sunlight, extreme cold, or darkness you don't need to worry about any of those so people love artificial flowers so much now another reason is that artificial flowers are more affordable than the natural flowers and they've got a longer shelf life for as long as you could just clean vacuum them or wash them they are good to go they don't wither the color doesn't change and in terms of well-being it improves our moods all right so when you have artificial flowers around it makes you feel good and makes you more productive I've got one here right now if you're interested in this business the first thing you will need to do normally is to get contacts in the fake plant or artificial plant industry go closer to those who are doing it already you know most of the artificial plants now are produced in china go closer to them and get some deals for yourself to import those plants or better still learn how to make them all right they've got the machines you will need the moldings and everything needed to make the plants get them lay your hands on them buy them and get them to drill you on how to use them all right and for a start you could still partner with them all right that is another way of embarking in production now the next business i will talk about here is the car credit or car mortgage business i can't emphasize on the importance of such a service in africa a lot of workers do strain a lot to go to their workplaces a lot of head of families do strain a lot to move about with their kids and they need cars but the thing is cars are so expensive in africa this is because by the time the importers or the car dealers import the cars and pay the custom duties the cars become three to five times and even more than the prices the cars originally cost thus making the cars not affordable for average citizens so this is a problem in africa that if you actually bring a solution to it you are going to be making a lot of money let me give you an idea of how you could go about this business or the key things you will need to have at the back of your mind in order to succeed in this business you are going to be doing more research if you are interested right but i am just giving you some guidelines from my own experience and research the first thing that i think that you could do in order to make this this business is success in Africa is to get deals with the various banks you would love to work with. Get affiliated to banks in order for your clients to place a standing order that is going to be diverting a particular amount of their salary straight into your own account. And that should be a percentage of the worker's salary. And for that, you would obviously need the backing of the government. So if you want to set up such a business in Africa, make sure to go closer to the government and let them know of your intentions and see how you the government and the bank could come up with a convenient agreement now let me give you another insight of what you should take note of in cameroon for instance a bank is not allowed to deduct more than a third of a salary and ask income for debt all right now let's take for instance you start up a car credit business and you want them to get cars and pay over a certain period of time i don't know it could be 30 60 100 months i don't know the amount of months that are going to be suiting you but then once you've decided on the number of months look for an amount that is not going to be penalizing that individual if they want to get a loan from their bank for some other purpose let's say a worker earns 300 000 in France if, uh, that's about 600 and something dollars right so let's assume 600 dollars a worker earns 600 dollars the bank is liable to 
deduct at most $200, right? So if you want to introduce your own car repayment strategy, you could agree with that bank, for instance, to make sure that they send a $100 to your company's account every month from your client's salary. That is in the $200 that the client would have to forego for a loan, a $100 could come to your company's account and a $100 could go as well to pay that client's loan they've taken from that bank. So I believe if you come up with such a system, the government is definitely going to see reasons with you and even subsidize it for their citizens. Why not? Hey, goal getter, I know this is something that might not sit well with some people, but hey, goal getter, I can assure you that the need for cars in Africa is huge. And if you come up with such a structure in Africa, a lot of Africans are going to adhere to it and you are going to make very good money and if not, very fast money. Don't look at the fact that people are going to take your cars and maybe be paying just a hundred dollars per month. Look at the bigger picture, all right? For a start, you're going to be having hundreds to thousands of people adhering and to millions of people subscribing to your platform. So imagine in a long run how much money you're going to be making by the time your business gets popular, gets known, and more and more people come to get cars from you. Another advice I have for you is if you want to start such a business in Africa, I would advise you go for Toyota cars because you know most Africans would rather go for Toyota cars because they are more suitable for our roads. So if you want to embark on such a business, you would rather go for more of Toyota cars. You could mix with some other brands but let the majority of your cars be Toyota cars because that is the most loved brand in Africa. Now go get us. I believe that I have given you enough insight on the businesses that you could actually start in Africa that are hugely needed and that if you actually start, you will never need to work again. That said, my name is Elvin Chik and I was glad helping. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you on my next one.